So today on Pat's Car Garage, um, we're going to be we're going to start to address a little bit of a saggy headliner issue. As you can see, the headliner has totally like messed up, and it's detached from the fiberglass board that it's supposed to be stuck to. So uh, we're going to be removing everything that's necessary to get the headliner out of the car and to rip the material off and glue a new material on, hopefully something nicer than the vinyl that's here right now. And yeah, so on. So there's obviously a few things that we need to remove. We need to remove the dome lights, the rear view mirror, the um, the sun visors, the door. I mean, not the door handles, but the roof handles, the grab handles. We need to remove all of that. We also need to remove the uh, all the trim on the A pillar, the B pillar, and the C pillar because the headliner. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. The headliner, yeah, it's black, so you don't see it very well. But the headliner, the headliner board goes behind the trim, so the trim ends right here. And yeah, nice thing. The the thing is, I'm gonna have to try to replicate this with a new material. Is as you can see, the headliner board doesn't actually end where this black line is. It keeps going up until the door jam. Uh, this is actually just a different type of material that I'm guessing is glued to the vinyl. Uh, and it's too like, you know, since the car interior is black, so, but the headliner is white, so if the trim just ended here, it'd be black, it'd look kind of weird, right? So, yeah, we're gonna have to, like, figure that out too, but, uh, anyway, yeah, so, the first order of business is actually gonna be to remove the seats, because the headliner, the front seats, rather, because the headliner board, well, it's so big, I obviously, it spans the entire roof, uh, it's so big that you're not gonna be able to wiggle the, um, the headliner out if you don't remove the seats. I mean, I might try to recline them backwards, but I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna remove the seats. That'll be easier. Besides, it's not hard to remove them. You just have to make sure that the battery is disconnected uh, and you left it disconnected for a few minutes. You just wanna make sure that you don't accidentally trigger any SRS faults when you unplug the seat belts from their electrical connector because the seat belt has, um, the seatbelt latch is wired up to the SRS system, so you just want to make sure that the uh, the battery is uh, disconnected. I, I'm gonna I disconnected both at the negative and the positive just because I'll do something extra afterwards. But anyway, you're gonna see all that. Unscrew the seat belt too. So the washer goes behind the seat belt and the bolt goes. The washer is actually between the seat belt uh, buckle and the bolt. I see it doesn't actually go all the way through. Can't make it go all the way through, which is pretty cool. So you can't over tighten it and still let the seat belt pivot on this thing. Oh wait, there's another washer here. Okay, so it goes it goes small washer, big washer, seat belt, bolt. That's the sequence. I didn't film it, but to remove the um, the uh, you know the door chrome strips here. Just grab them underneath with your fingers and then just pull it up because it's got these metal tabs that just grab onto the, uh, there's like a little metal lip here that sticks out and they just grab onto that. So just pull on this, pull it up and then uh, you have to do the same thing in the back. This is the one that goes around the bottom of the seat. Uh, the chrome piece is actually a separate piece on that side. You only need to remove the plastic part that's ahead of the chrome piece. Same deal, just grab it, pull it up. Uh, it's just held on by these same metal tabs. And then you can remove the uh, middle B pillar trim, which is just, again, it's ju it just clips on. There's no bolts or anything. So just grab it, pull on it, and it's gonna come out.
<clears throat> okay. In hindsight, I probably should have left the seats in. That would have made it. I could have so I could have sat down while removing the dolomite here. But anyway, it's all good. Uh, the mirror, from what I remember, you just grab it and pull on it. Just don't wanna. Yeah, I don't wanna pull on the mirror itself. You wanna pull on the base of the mirror from the back somehow. So, there you go. Whew. That wasn't so bad. Okay, now I just have to unplug the little harness here. Yeah, is there a little clip or something? Ah, there you go. So the mirror's off. So if you bend, if you bend, the, there's this metal, see how I can zoom in on it, get the zoom controls up here. Alright, see there's this metal, um, there's this metal lip that goes around the, uh, the dome light. So if you bend it up a little bit, don't be worried, you can bend it back and then it's going to hold on to the, to the dome light. So now we're gonna do uh, the rear dome light. And the rear dome light isn't like the front one where you can remove the, uh, the lens. The lens is actually part of the housing. So what you have to do is on the, uh, I'm on the passenger side. Well, you know, North American passenger side. So driver's side, UK, whatever. There's a tab, there's a, there's a little cutout. Not a tab, a cutout here. So just jam a screwdriver in there and just, gently ish pop it out and it'll come right out so now just unplug the wiring here there you go okay rear dome light is out okay i found out how to pull the b pillar trim off uh you just got to give it a little you know you got to put your knees into it right so uh, grab it from the bottom move it up as high as you can the figure doesn't just Pull on it, because there's two sets of tabs here on the top. I, I released one set, so I only have the top set left. So just keep pulling on it. Don't be afraid to break it, because you won't. Come on. Here we go. Come on, one more. One more. It's loose on this side already. Oh, there you go. Okay, so now, um, to remove the C-pillar trim, I think we have to remove the rear seat bench. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to remove, first of all, the bottom part, and then the uh, the backrest part. So the bottom part, really easy. Down here, you see there's this little, um, there's this little metal tab. Push on it, and lift the seat up. That's literally it. Now, just gently set it down so it doesn't click back in. Go to the other side, and exact same thing. I mean, removing this is easy. So just push on the little tab, and there you go. Now the seat comes out. So yeah, just make sure you stick the, uh, you know, the seat belts through, so they don't catch. And there you go. There goes the seat bench. So you see, uh, to remove the, um the, the backrest, there's these three screws. There's one over here, there's one in the middle, underneath the middle of the seat, and then there's one uh, on the far side. Remove those three, and then I think you have to lift the seat up and out. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. And Mercedes makes this too easy. I mean, look at this, just up and out it goes. Fucking hell, look at how easy that was. Jesus Christ. Okay, with the um, with the rear seat bench removed, removing the the C pillar trim is fairly easy. But you just gotta like you gotta pull on it in various directions. You know, again, be gentle. Eventually, it comes out. Also, you'll notice that you're only seeing me do half of the trims. That's because I'm learning how to do the first half, and then the second half, I'm filming it so that I can show you how to do it. 
Makes sense, right? So I'll get in here, you know, get comfortable. Start from the top because the top likes to just pop out. So start here. There you go. Fuck. Yes. Okay, so unfortunately, this. Oh, that's bright. This. Um, I broke one. See, it's got these clips here. They. Uh, they basically they just hook on to the metal. The cutout in the metal uh, pillar. But I broke. I broke the top one here. But that's not a huge deal. I mean, it was stubborn. The other one, I removed it really easily without breaking it. But this one was really stubborn. Unfortunately, it broke. I could try and fix it with some fiberglass or something, but I'm not gonna worry too much because right above it, right here, there's another clip that one of those metal clips that hold on to the trim. So if you break the top one, uh, you know, don't lose sleep over it. Okay, now for the A pillar, first thing you gotta do is you gotta run your fingers along the side to pull out the um, to pull out the trim from the sort of like you know just to separate the, there's two parts here there's like this door jam the door jam part and then the actual a pillar trim you want to get the a pillar on top of it because normally it's under it so just run your fingers all the way down until you have the entire a pillar on top of the door jam rather than under it. So now what you what that lets you do is it lets you peek it lets you peek into the trim and see where the clip is. So then you're gonna take a long screwdriver, flat one, and you're just gonna put it under the clip. There you go, that's one. There's three total clips. So now we're gonna do the next one. And then the last one's uh, near the bottom. Ew. That didn't sound encouraging. Ah, there you go. And yeah, the trim is off. All right, good progress. So I did one grab handle over here, it's easy. You pop the plugs out, you unscrew it. I'll do the other three, and you know, you can extrapolate from there how to do the rest of it. And then I'll get back to you when I'm ready to pull the board off. All right, and the last thing that you need to check is uh, in here, there's a, right there in the middle where the rear dome light goes, there's a little tab that latches onto this glued on metal piece. So you gotta make sure you get that off. And right now, in theory, there's nothing holding the, the headliner board. Okay. Coming off. Shit. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, that was easy. Now we just gotta get it out of the car, which is the uh, the questionable part. Okay, the headliner board. It's ridiculously weak, so. You know, be careful with it. Take your time and slowly wiggle it out because you could break it and that would suck.
Okay. So here we have the headliner board finally removed from the car. It wasn't too bad. Once everything is, you know, removed, the whole thing just slides right out. You just got to be careful as you maneuver it out of the car, not to bend it too much because it's it's actually it's surprisingly lightweight and you know pretty flimsy as you can see so just got to be careful with that uh so yeah so this is going to be it for this video because up to this point you know i know that a lot of guys out there are starting to have their headliner sag so up to this point you can basically use this video as a guide to figure out how to get the headliner out of the car i know not everyone wants to be bothered with actually replacing the material themselves and they're going to outsource the work so I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to edit the footage basically as soon as I'm done in the garage and I'm going to post it online as fast as I can. The remaining videos, you'll have to wait longer because I'm actually going to finish all the work I want to do and then edit the footage. Uh, you know, given that I'm fairly busy with schoolwork too right now. So, you know, sort of got to manage everything. But yeah, there will be extra goodies coming in the future. Uh, you know, just stuff I'm going to do while I have the the rare opportunity of having the entire ceiling off the car. So yeah, uh, expect some more good stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope, um, you know, it helped out with any questions you may have on how to remove this thing. If you do have more questions, perhaps how to remove something specific, if I wasn't clear enough, or, you know, if you're wondering where a wire goes or whatever, just post them in the comment section. But until then, stick around for more cool stuff.